what's up scrappy peeps it's Dale from Inky Quill and today we're doing some project life there's a bit of a sneaky peek at a layout that you'll see in a couple of weeks time uh, today I'm actually using the backs of the previous layouts cards I generally don't when I use a journaling card I use the front or whatever side I'm using and then I usually cover it up cover it up on the back but I liked these two cards they were just too pretty especially that floral one down the bottom not to use let me know in the comments if you ever use the back and the front of uh, journaling cards or if you usually just put two in a pocket and have them back to back I'd be really interested to know if if many people uh, do use both sides so this is a series of three little spots on this week's uh, PL and they're photos of Archie and Poppy which is my dad and they are just absolute silly billies when uh, they're together in the playpen at my parents house and my dad's favorite thing is to build towers for Archie and then Archie comes along and destroys them and stomps all the blocks and giggles his head off uh, and so I was glad that when I was over there earlier this year I was able to capture some photos of them in in playpen mode because I don't think Archie will fit in there for too long I think he's soon going to figure out how to escape mm. he turns 18 months soon and the climbing is real it's it's not going to take long I don't think I'm using a stamp set that's not part of the PL kit for this month, but it's just beautiful. It's available on the Citrus Twist website uh, for September and it's got a magical theme. You will see this stamp set crop up in a few other videos because I love it so much, especially this star um, little doodly piece. I wanted to just do a little bit of journaling. I didn't need to do too much and the photos were quite busy. So it was nice to pair the busy, brightly colored photos with just a black and white journaling card. I'm using my Pilot G2 pen, because someone always asks, so I try to say it. And I think it's a, a 0.7 thickness. It's just a, it's a, my fave pen at the moment. And I'm just adding a bit of journaling. My writing is actually quite small. I think it's because I am so used to back in the day marking uh, students work and trying to squeeze in little feedback comments in between their their paragraphs and their writing uh, with not much success so I, I write quite small and I usually write two uh, two lines of text per line of journal print if that makes any sense at all uh, and I, I quite like the the look of the small writing in my PL added a, a half doodly border and those three cards are all done next up I have this photo of my mum and dad's dog and I just wanted to add one of these big gold words and I I try to figure out which one to put for a long long time um, and I wanted to put happy but our my childhood dog's name was happy and this was the not the replacement dog but the the, the next dog after so ha happy passed away um, I think it was about two or three months before I moved out of home uh, and then Nelly came along just after I moved home. I think the house was a little bit empty. And so I didn't want to put happy there because it was just too confusing for me. Uh, so I decided to go with loving and I'm adding a little journaling label here just to add a little bit of extra text. Um, I, I think that it's nice to have a stash of labels on hand. I find them so handy. How many times can I say hand and handy? I find them so handy for my project life because sometimes you just want to add a snippet of journaling. So it might be where you were or why you were there. Just a, a little bit of um, information that you can't get from the photo. Other times you want to go more in depth with an entire journaling card. But labels are great for when it's just a, an everyday photo that doesn't really require a lot of emotion or a lot of, um, you know, a lot of facts or a lot of details to go with it this next one is of Archie and he's actually holding a lemon squeezer 
And the story behind this lemon squeezer, I was going to do this as a large layout, but I think I'm just going to leave it as a small one and then maybe document it in my traveler's notebook. Um, I might do a layout on my second channel. Let's get inky soon uh, with that. But Archie, my when I was growing up, uh, we used to go to my Nana and Pa's house a lot. They're my mum's parents. And we, I used to play... Um, that you know that of course they didn't have a lot of kids toys because their their kids were long grown um grown up and uh, my favorite thing even though I did have toys there and I brought toys with me if I ever had a sleepover my favorite thing was this lemon squeezer and it was I used to love it and I used to like put water through it and pretend I was making fancy meals for my nan and I'd play with it when I'd have a bath and watch the water run out of it and it's just I think it's an old very old Tupperware one and now I've passed that on to to Archie um, who also just seems to love to eat it uh, so that's that's the the story of the lemon squeezer I actually have some lemon paper. I think it was from last month or the previous month Citrus Twist Kit uh, and it was possibly Pink Fresh Studio. And when I saw it, I thought, oh, what am I going to use lemons for? And now I think I might have a layout in mind. So this next one, this is an additional uh, stamp set and that came out this month. And it was all about mums and mum life. And I thought that this was quite appropriate because I think I was over at my parents this day um, because I was feeling a bit crook and they were helping look after Archie. And I put Mama Needs a Hug and I've got a little hug from Nellie there. So this layout came out quite quickly. Uh, and I think that when you're on a roll with, well, I find that when I'm on a roll with Project Life, I tend to bust out like four or five pages at a time in one session. Let me know in the comments, what's your scrapping schedule or your style, I guess you could say. Do you like to chop and change between different types of projects or different types of products um, because you get bored easily? Do you like to sit down and do like four layouts in four hours? Um, or are you someone that has short little bursts, like you'll do 10 minutes on a page and then come back to it the next day and then come back to it the day after? How do you go about your, your scrapping, kind of your scrapping organization, time organization? That's it. So here I think I did about four, I think I did four Project Life pages. I didn't film them all because um, I don't film everything that I do. Um, I film a lot of things, but I, I don't always film everything that I do. And I, f I made them all using this same kit. And by the last layout, it was really good because I, I knew exactly what embellishments I had to choose from, what icons there were, what colored labels were without even looking at them. I could just remember them. Um, but yeah, I'd be interested to know what your, what your style is. So here is a photo of Archie and he's just waving. This is actually when Aaron uh, arrived and he was very excited to see uh, Aaron walk up the stairs. And so I just wanted to include that picture as well. Then, oh, oh, I'm coming back for something. What am I, what am I up to? Oh, okay. I'm adding a bit of extra stamping here. And something I've been enjoying lately is stamping onto white, thin white cardstock and then cutting it out and sticking it on like a tiny word sticker. Uh, it's, it's really good because you can control the exact colors that you use, either the ink or the background paper, cardstock. And it's fun because you can, you can really combine different phrases and instead of using chipboard pieces which are a bit harder to cut apart you can really chop and change and make it suit the the occasion or the photo that you're documenting so this page is all done i hope you enjoyed this little bonus video today uh, you can head over to the citrus twist blog if you'd like to see more up close photos of this layout i've had a really fun time with the lay with the kits this month they were bursting with so many things you'll see there'll be a journal with me video on let's get inky very soon and also a layout coming up uh, very soon using the kits but don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it it helps me out a lot and i'll see you in the next video bye